What is today on today's situation? Welcome everyone to today's situation where we answer what is today. Today's situation is a short daily show all about giving you the facts. Hey, it's all about learning and having fun. Let's get started. Famous holidays and observances for May 4th. Today is anti-bullying day. It is a day when people wear a pink shirt to symbolize a stand against bullying. It originated in Canada, and it is now celebrated on various dates around the world. In 2012, the United Nations declared the official day to be May 4th. Some countries prefer to celebrate it on the 28th or the 29th of February, which was recognized by many countries worldwide, including Australia, New Zealand, France, Lebanon, the United Kingdom, and the United States. Today is Childhood Depression Awareness Day. Rates of childhood depression have been rising in the last several years, yet information and awareness about childhood depression has not caught on at the same rate. Millions of people across the world wonder and doubt if children can get depressed. Many well-intentioned adults still believe that children can't get depressed. They are so young, what do they have to be depressed about? When we were that age, we were just happy. Alongside misunderstandings is the stigma and the idea that mental illness is also a taboo subject with children. More awareness needs to be brought onto this and you can find and learn more by clicking the link in the description below. Today is International Firefighters Day. International Firefighters Day is observed each year on May 4th. On this date, you are invited to remember the past firefighters who have died while serving our community or dedicated their lives to protecting the safety of us all. At the same time, we can show our support and appreciation to the firefighters worldwide who continue to protect us so well throughout the year by proudly wearing and displaying blue and red ribbons pinned together or by participating in a memorial or recognition event in your local community. We can show our gratitude to firefighters everywhere. If you're enjoying this content, please remember to like and subscribe and thank you. Now back to the commentary. Today is Intergalactic Star Wars Day. May the 4th be with you. Intergalactic Star Wars Day is a day to celebrate all things Star Wars on the 4th of May. The phrase, may the 4th be with you, led to this day being chosen as the date to celebrate the holiday. The phrase was first used after Margaret Thatcher won the election for Prime Minister of the UK on May 4th, 1979. It was published in the London Evening News as a way to congratulate her. Since then, it has become popular for fans to greet each other with this phrase every May 4th. There are often events hosted for fans on this day, including some at the Disney parks. Happy Star Wars Day and May the 4th be with you today. Important historical events for May 4th. In 1471, the Battle of Tewkesbury, Gloucestershire occurred. It was the final battle between the houses of Lancaster and York. Prince of Wales Edward of Westminster was killed and King Edward IV was restored to his throne. This re-restored political stability to England until his death in 1483. In 1535, the five Carthusian monks from London, Charter House Monastery were hung, drawn and quartered at Tyburn, London for refusing to acknowledge Henry VIII as head of the Church of England. In 1780, the American Academy of Arts and Science was founded in Boston by James Bedoin, John and Samuel Adams were the founding members. In 1953, the Pulitzer Prize for Literature was awarded to Ernest Hemingway for The Old Man and the Sea. In 1979, Margaret Thatcher became the first woman to be elected Prime Minister of the United Kingdom. In 1992, the U.S. Army and Marine Corps forces arrived in Los Angeles to end rioting following the acquittal of four police officers over the beating of Rodney King in 1992. In 1999, The Mummy was a film directed by Stephen Sommers, starring Brendan Fraser and Rachel Weisz and John Hanna, which premiered in the United States on this day. In 2015, the Golden State Warrior Stephen Curry was named MVP for the 2014-2015 NBA season. Famous birthdays for May 4th. In 1796, Horace Mann, an American educator, author, and editor who pioneered public schools, was born in Franklin, Massachusetts. In 1900, Archibald McKindo, a New Zealand plastic surgeon pioneer who rehabilitated badly burned Royal Air Force crew during World War II, was born in Dunedin, New Zealand. In 1929, Audrey Hepburn, the British actress from Breakfast at Tiffany's and My Fair Lady, was born in Brussels, Belgium. In 1972, Mike Durnt, or Michael Ryan Pritchard, was an American musician, was born on this day in Berkeley, California. He is currently the bassist for Green Day. Famous passings for May 4th. May 4th, 1975. 
Moses Harry Horowitz passed. He was known professionally as Mo Howard. He was an American actor and comedian, best known as the leader of the Three Stooges, the farce comedy team who starred in motion pictures and television for four decades. That group originally started out as Ted Healy and His Stooges, an act that toured the vaudeville circuit. Moe's distinctive hairstyle came about when he was a boy and cut off his curls with a pair of scissors, producing a ragged shape approximating a bowl cut. May 4th, 2012, MCA Adam Yausch passed. He was an American rapper, bass player, filmmaker, and a founding member of the hip-hop group Beastie Boys. Yausch found Oscilloscope Laboratories, an independent film production and distribution company based in New York City. As a Buddhist, he was involved in the Tibetan independence movement and organized the Tibetan Freedom Concert. May 4th, 2020, Don Shula passed. He was an American Pro Football Hall of Fame coach. Shula was the first head coach to appear in six Super Bowls, five with the Dolphins and one with the Colts. His six Super Bowl appearances rank second among head coaches and he has the most Super Bowl losses at four. He was also the first head coach to bring two franchises to the Super Bowl and appear in three consecutive Super Bowls, which he accomplished with the Dolphins from 1971 to 1973. This has been today's situation. Thank you for joining us. See you next time.